Any other thoughts or besides just spending your time serving others? Uh, is there another suggestions? Uh, like you said, uh, go with a teacher's uh, attitude or teacher's kind of hat. Um, any other thoughts on this? Yeah. Um, so one of the most common questions I get is, Jay, how do I start? How do I start? What's the first thing that I do? Before that, how how do you start? That's that's a question you get on some. You got somebody interested. Before that happens, how do you get people to ask you that question? Yeah. So, well, no, no. That my my students are asking me, how do I start private uh, lending? Private. I mean, finding private money. Not that's not the private lenders' question. That's that's my students' question. And so. I say, first of all, and of course, in the book, it goes into it step by step. First of all, make your list. Make your list in your own warm market of who that it is that you would like to reach out to. And I say, and they say, well, how do you start making your list? Well, I say, start with everybody you know that's retired. There's a good chance that someone that's retired has got retirement funds, right? Right. And there's also a good chance these people that have retirement funds, there's a 99% chance they never heard of self-directed IRAs. So it gives you the perfect opportunity to teach people what that is all about. One of my favorite questions to ask people is to lead in with the question, did you know? Did you know? And one of my favorite questions to ask people is, did you know that there is a legal and safe and ethical way to use retirement funds to get unlimited returns a year with retire- with your retirement funds, either tax-free or tax-deferred with no penalty? They're going to answer, no, I'd never heard of that. So here starts your conversation. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great hook. Uh, did you know? And you tell them what you want them to ask about. Uh, exactly. 